Software as a service. This term has been going around the tech space and entrepreneurship space for years. I've recently built out a learning platform and I also built out a couple of dumb ones like an AI thing. Everyone's built out an AI thing and a voice to text application. However, one main issue that I dealt with when developing these applications was that it was taking me months to make them. And I thought to myself, hey, I'm a YouTuber. This would make good content, right? I hope so. I'm a little bit more experienced at coding. Why not try to build out a software as a service application as quick as possible? And that is exactly the challenge that we will be doing today. I don't know how, but I will be attempting to build out a SaaS app in one week. And trust me, shit's about to get good. So let's get into it. So the first thing I had to do is actually pick out an idea and I landed on building out a fitness app. I gained a lot of weight over these past few years. Like I used to be actually really in shape and it just wasn't cutting anymore. Like I was, I was just too fat. And so I landed on a fitness app that would generate workouts based off the user's input. So let's say you put in your height, it's like five, six, I'm five, six, I'm a shorty. I weigh whatever, 170 pounds. I don't know if that's actually my weight. And so the main goal of the application is that once the user inputs their, you know, inputs, they click generate and a personalized workout will come out showing them what they need to do in order to reach their goals. And although I wanted to add more features, I only have a week. So we have to stick with this one feature of like generating and then we'll worry about everything else. And the tech stack that I set on was the basic one. I'm trying not to overthink it because I really don't have time. And it is just Next.js, Prisma, Postgres database, Daisy UI. That's it. I, I like it. I'm really good at it. And I could just get to work with it. And that's the one I picked. And so now that we know the idea and the SaaS that we will be building and the features that we will need, we can just get started with developing and lead on to day one. <sighs> so day one went pretty normal. Initially, I don't have a timestamp on developing software. Like my learning platform took me like five months to develop. And I really just took my time with everything. But no, this time I had to just get going. I just had to get building and there was really no time to think. So I just picked out a random color scheme, went with a white background, set everything up and just got started. And honestly, the main goal of this day was to just make progress. I could have just not done the landing pages and done the features, but that would have just taken too long. And I would have felt like I didn't, wasn't making any progress. I'm just renting at this point, but I think it's just better that I did this than not. And frankly, I left day one with a big smile on my face. You could say, because we finished the main part of the landing page. We had everything basically set up and prepared for whatever was to come. Now the second day was I want to say a little bit anxiety provoking. Although I was finished with the entire landing page, like I added some cool like call to actions, I added stuff like that. I was feeling a sense of anxiety that I had to finish the actual feature. Like who gives a fuck about the landing page? We got to go. We got like six more days left. I felt like I had to speed things up. And so I literally just got started with the inputs for the users. And the goal here was not to actually make it functional, but rather like the landing page, just make progress on it so that I could add on top of it the next day and just, you know, feel like I'm making progress. And so what I used for the inputs and what I forgot to talk about was I was using Daisy UI's UI library for everything here. And they have a cool radio input where like when the user clicks on something, it like stays as their option. And so I just use that as the option holder. And the forms that I included as like parameters was your height, your gender, your current weight, your goal, um, and how often you want to work out. I felt like those were like the five best things or like the most popular questions that would be asked. I just went along with it. I could have always added something, but since this was the UI, I just quickly built it out. You could say, you know, other than that, we've only done UI things, but I was starting to feel the anxiety and worry set in like in the morning of day two, because I didn't know how I was going to make this functional. You know, I've dealt with similar applications in the past. I don't know if you get anxious, but I was just feeling a little anxious and I felt like I wasn't really prepared for what was to come. For now, I love day two with, I think, a win. Finished the landing page. We finished the basic UI for the workouts and I was honestly just ready and kind of not looking forward for day three. Now, day three of the seven day SaaS challenge was the hardest day yet, in my opinion. And it was because I was trying out a new auth system. Like I was using next auth, which is what I use on all my applications, but rather than having to deal with like an email password and login form, I was just using magic link where like when the user puts in their email, they're sent a magic link to click on. So then it would log them in when they click it. And frankly, that just took way longer than it should have. You know, we're, we're basically at the halfway point now and time was not on my side. 
And I spent maybe three hours out of my like six hour time span of the day just on login authentication. But thankfully I got it done. I didn't even worry about the UI it looks like shit, but then things got really bad. I was stuck on the Stripe payments section because you see, I wanted to charge for this. You know, I want to make money off of this product. And the whole point of the SaaS is to make some money. I just couldn't find a way to get the Stripe API to validate that the user paid. Like the payments were going through when, you know, I was coding it up. Like when the user paid for something, when they paid like $3, but Stripe wasn't validating the user. Like they weren't having their user email so that I could associate that payment with the user to give them the workouts. And honestly, thoughts are just going through my mind saying like, yo, will you ever get this done? Are you ever going to finish this in seven days? The the pressure was really mounting and especially stuff like Stripe, it just gets me worried. And like I said earlier, I was usually given like a six hour time span in the day to do all the code. And so I just took my L, like I, I didn't even finish the Stripe payment. I think I'm gonna leave it here. Um, so we'll have to push it to the next day. This is day three. Um, I guess it's looking good because, you know, not too bad. Then I thought to myself, hey, I'm just gonna push it to another day. I got the authentication finished and I'm just gonna, you know, leave it. Until it was like 9 p.m. right before my bedtime. I sleep really, really early. And I actually found it chilling with my parents. I was just coding, I was seeing if I could add it. And somehow, I sadly, I didn't get it on video, but I was able to successfully charge the user, get their user email and associate the user's email with the payment so that we can know who's paying for stuff. And so we've got the payments ready. We've got the authentication done. Like we can authenticate users. We have the UI for almost everything. The main thing we have left to do, which we were trying to do in day four was generating and making the actual program for the workouts. Now, what I actually wanted to do was develop an algorithm or use AI to make the workouts based off the user's inputs. Like I wanted the user to just give me the information and then I put it through an algorithm and then it personally outputs what the user wants. And I actually tried this, but it just wasn't working. And I looked at other GitHub repositories on the subject and basically everyone was hard coding at the beginning. Like they were hard coding a workout based off the inputs from the get-go. And again, we're trying to develop this application in seven days. And I was thinking to myself, I'm going to the water park tomorrow, which we'll talk about. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time tomorrow coding. I need to give myself time to debug the things we've already finished, test out my code and uh, deploy the code because deployment, it takes some time. And so what we ended up doing was hard coding a workout generator based off the user's inputs. So I'll, I'll kind of show you on the screen here. I wrote down like a 300 line program of workouts based off the user's inputs. Like if the user puts in like one to two days they want to work out and their goal is to build muscle, then it will output a specific thing. Is this the smartest thing? Of course not. I would have rather had a sophisticated algorithm to output something personalized for the user, of course. Again, time's not on our side and the product's still fine, okay? It, it was outputting pretty good workouts and that's what I wanted it to. And generally people are gonna have the same workouts, so I think it's, it's fine for now. And so I hard coded everything and I linked the outputs to the actual generator. And so whenever the user uh, finishes all their inputs, like they clicked on each option, they can click the generate workout button and the program outputs something for them to copy. And you know, I left day four super, super happy and excited. I finished most of the features that I actually wanted to. Stripe payments, done. UI, done. Generator, done. Generator UI, done. Which was perfect because day five, I took a break. You see, although I had some things to do, I, mean, I already made plans with my friends that I was gonna go to a theme park, like a water park with them. I, I just took the day off. I don't think that was the smartest idea because it's a seven day challenge. I honestly just relaxed for the day. I, I The whole day I was just spent thinking of ideas I could add, things I needed to debug and stuff like that. Frankly, I just took the day off because of how intense the past four days have been. Honestly, when I came back home, I didn't record anything because it was so late, but I just debugged some things. That was really, I just fixed some things around, fixed the UI a little bit, that was it. And real quick though, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please, I don't take sponsors on the channel and you're watching this for free. I spent six times seven, whatever that is, 42, yeah, I guess, 42 hours on this, please. Okay, just like and subscribe, it would really go a long way. And uh, whatever, let's get into it. I just need a sip of coffee real quick. Day 
six like i talked about earlier this was a day to just fix up whatever we finished and add the features where we needed to add so for example here's where i added the purchase button to the app i had the payment functionalities finished but i haven't added it to the app like the user wasn't actually able to pay for it i also added the logic for the payment like i set up the price i set up everything and overall this day was just bringing everything together and i also realized that i needed a download functionality for the workouts when the users outputted the workouts i don't want them to just copy and paste it into their notes they can but it would be cool if they could click download and it turns into a pdf and the workout was a pdf i did that rather quickly it was actually quite easy i also like lined things up i aligned things i spaced things out on the ui it was just a simple day of fixing whatever we've been doing for the past four days five days i guess you could say and frankly there was a lot to fix but guess what by the end of the day all we had left to do for our last day which i'm frankly still like concerned about was just deploying everything which i knew would take a long time and just adding the final touches to the ui and so by the end of day six we finished most of the ui like we still had some things to do like add a hero section like the the side there and testimonials and stuff like that we also had to like deploy things but we're mostly done everything and that actually leads us to our final day day seven was honestly quite a hectic day like i was trying to verify that authentication was going to work for me and it just wasn't working like when the user was putting in their email it wasn't sending in addition when i was trying to deploy stripe I, like i was dealing with the same issue that i was in day three and it felt like everything was falling apart so i'm running into two big problems firstly i am not receiving the email like when a user that's not me like when i'm trying different emails it's not working and when i'm paying a purchase instance is not being made so i don't know what to do like everything i worked up to until then it just felt like shit wasn't going my way authentication wasn't working stripe wasn't working however like everything in development you have to keep your cool together you have to stay focused on the goal on the debugging research as much as possible and thankfully i was able to solve both issues in the same 10 minutes it turns out stripe i had to like fix the api key and with the authentication i had to just again add a thing that i was forgetting oh my god finally dude and once i got those two things done the rest of the day was just on ui stuff i added a phone thing where it looks pretty cool in my opinion and i also added testimonials of like images of users that tried it out and yeah by the end of day seven um i'll show you an actual video of me finishing the application i just coded seven days straight but man i <laughs> i can't believe i finished the project i'm just happy to get here i am exhausted I'm probably going to take a couple days off of coding because I've been looking at a white screen like this for the past week. Uh, yeah, we made it. We made it. So, uh, yeah, back to narrator Nazars to end the video off. But I was destroyed. These were seven very hard fought days. And frankly, by the end of day seven, we finished everything literally on time. If I just wasted a little bit more time on some other feature, I would have not had the enough time to finish everything here. And honestly, after clicking deploy and just finishing with everything, I just felt a sense of relief. I was so tired. I was so exhausted. A crazy amount of time, a lot of thinking, a lot of self-doubt on this was just was just a lot. And I was just excited to get done with it. And so I reached the seven days. I deployed the application and it's ready for user usage. Like people can just go to it right now. They can pay for it. I plan on marketing this on Instagram and TikTok once I'm actually uh, like ready to. But honestly, like the main lessons that I learned from this over these past seven days is that firstly, you're, the products, you're not going to finish the SaaS in seven days, like a good SaaS in seven days. That's definitely not possible. But you're better off, in my opinion, doing this and spending a week or two weeks developing a very shitty product than no product at all like honestly i spent way too long on my other products that i could have just saved and released a shitty product and then fix over that and just do that instead but hey that's fine another thing that i learned is that pick something you actually have fun with and that you're actually dealing with like this business idea and this SaaS was directly made for me and i think if you pick something that you actually find interesting you're gonna do a whole lot better than something that you don't like and that you're building for just the sake of money but yeah, um, I suffered for you guys. So please like and subscribe. It would honestly really go a long way. If you like the video, like the video. Happy coding. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.